Hi guys, welcome to my first video on Celesta. Uh, now that the DLC has come out with the Lost Valley, I've been waiting for this because I've been doing my Baldur's Gate 3 videos, but honestly I haven't put one out for a little bit because I kind of don't want to die on that game before it's released. I'm quite excited about it. Uh, I've only obviously got a little small channel, um, so anyone, anyone who does uh, like the idea of subscribing and following a little guy, please do because I'm, I'm willing to be fairly interactive. I've... Uh, uh, I mean, the bigger guys are unlikely to get an answer to your comment quite often, I guess. Background, 50 years old, been playing for a fair while, been playing since Basic Edition D&D came out, and quite a fan of RPGs. I've been whinging for quite a while about there having not been a good one until uh, Baldur's Gate came out, Baldur's Gate 3. So, used to roll dice and everything when I was younger, played Baldur's Gate on computer, never went at night, step 1 and 2, two of which I both loved, absolutely loved, especially... Unlike today, the camera angle. You can get right down, you can do everything. This restrictive camera angle that seems to be the norm these days really quite upsets. You'll hear me talk about that on a number of occasions, I'm sure. And now I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 uh, uh, Early Access, um, and I've done about 400 hours of that. As I said, I don't want to get sick of it. But these videos are great because, I mean, I, I don't look at them when I'm playing straight away. If I get something like this, I haven't watched any other videos on this. So, if I'm missing stuff other people have posted, so be it. Uh, I played through Baldur's Gate, uh, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access two times before I realised there was a cave underneath where a Starion was. I don't miss much, I'm a bit of an explorer, but uh, that happened. So, come along for a journey. Uh, I've, I played this game for about 180 hours on the original one. I've got the Primal Calling DLC that you can get with it. Uh, I'm overly excited about that in a great way. The very basic run of characters is the way to play uh, in a lot of ways. You know, you want your, your, your fighter, your cleric, your magic user, and your thief. You know, um, like Baldur's Gate. Uh, sorry, like uh, Dungeons and Dragons Basic Edition. Anyway, the du oh, looking through the new stuff for this game, let's comment on that. The, the, the bug fixes are awesome. There's some spells that weren't working, etc. Uh, just just a really good run on the bug fixes the, the the playability fixes were good too grouping of arrows together wasn't being done very well and yet to spend a fair bit of time doing all that sort of stuff um, one thing I don't want to see these games do too much is you know how they you interact with something and it uses the best character for that uh, I think that's good in a lot of cases but I don't think it's good with uh, uh, interactions with NPCs I think you should should be picking your, your character that should be the best fit for say race or um, failing anything else, charisma, uh, any spells that have already been cast on them prior to walking up, things like that. But that's just me spouting my likes. What's, what's that matter to anyone, I guess? <laughs> um, I won't go in any more here. Uh, for the, you can skip out a little bit if you don't care about character creation and what's actually been made here to play. Uh, first, we've got Sour Dees, who's a paladin uh, with the uh, philosophy background. Uh, so you can have a crafting skill of, of, of herbs that you can pick backgrounds that don't give you any crafting skills and you can really craft a lot if I've all got something so the ones that don't really don't offer much in return in most cases either but at the same time being old school and I mean I, I don't think there should be no imagination based on the fact that you're playing a computer game either you know I've played these games linking people together with brothers and sisters and all that sort of stuff and won't go against them in game even if it's best for, for, for that person to do that or something, you know. So stick to your guns as an RPG because that makes the game more playable for you as well for those who are younger coming along. So uh, we've got the paladin over here. Can't be anything but a human as far as I'm concerned. Elves and dwarves, yeah, okay, maybe, but in the old days, paladins were only humans. Uh... And there's reasons for that. They're the knight in the shining armor. I mean, what else do you want? I mean, okay, a dwarf and elf. They're from regal backgrounds that might have that sort of royal philosophy, you know, but an orc wouldn't do it. You wouldn't have a half orc paladin. Anyway, so moving on. Uh, can I buy um, uh, Noidswin? We've got. So, uh, Noidswin is the name. Uh, human cleric uh, with the new mischief domain. Turns him into kind of a, uh, it's a, it's a trickery domain, trickery, trickery cleric like Shadowheart from Baldur's Gate 3 if you're playing that. Uh, wanderer background, can, uh, uh, what's it called, smithing tools and, uh, and, and 
that herb thing, anyway, the thing that makes you, allows you to use the herbs. Can do, can do those things. Uh, tool, create tools and do herbs. Uh, we've got OG Kush, who's a, a snow dwarf rogue. So a dwarf and rogue, I still prefer thief. Uh, the word thief. Law keeper, so the reason being there, he can take um, finesse weapons as a rogue. I've given him martial weapons by taking the law keeper background, so, and good strength. So strength's not far off, off dexterity. And with the first two being humans, they got a plus one on all abilities. So, that, you should, I'll, I'll run you through the abilities when I get in there. Quite, quite decent characters. Um, the elven, uh, sorry, the elven wizard. Yep, uh, Gorill Laglu is uh, uh, acad academic, so that the wizard can use the mana Callan Rosary, which is for the creation of magic weapons. So, without any further ado, I'll turn the microphone off. <laughs> Realise the microphone adjustment volume button on my keyboard was turning on and off NVIDIA uh, recording this, in, uh, NVIDIA uh, software recording it. So I've had to put a bit of tape over that and I'll use, I'm connected to an amp, I'll use my remote to do this now so I don't keep stuffing up my videos. Let's go. While the Principality of Mascarp is preparing for war, business is thriving in the marches. As more legacy council agents travel to Copperan, Gala Golden Tongue's route expands and his profits increase. The master merchant hired adventurers to escort his caravan. Does this happen often? Wounded strangers setting up camp near the caravan? Oh yes. These sites are well known to all who travel in the marches. Sadly, they're not here for shopping. Do you know them? Well, the lady is from the Legacy Council in Kerr Kifnan. The man here is Lord Amund, also from the capital. Well, I spoke with her half-elf briefly. Her name is Mayrin Catpaw. They're looking for someone. Apparently, they were ten strong. Then they met a bunch of orcs. I'm sure the lady can tell you more. Why don't you do it? It's a strategy. You'll see. Okay, you're the boss. Okay, so what we've got here is what I affectionately call a 420 crew. Uh, now you remember how to play the game again. What controls I've got. Okay, so what do we got over here? Let's have a little bit of a look. See, read the free bits that give us the ability to do things. Got the herbalism kit. Okay, he had one on the other bloke. So. Okay, now we can cast and craft some, um, some poisons. What's he got down here? So, antitoxin, basic leather. His law keeper's badge. Let me just check. Okay, so healing potion there, healing potion there. You've got to have a focus point to be casting spells, so there's a component about it's a universal focus for arcane and divine. So, what do we got? Potion of healing can be made. 
Should put one over on the right hand side that you can close that with. Scroll of Magic Missile. I don't know why I'm reading that. I've already got Magic Missile. I could have sold that scroll. That was silly. New spell book. Yeah, I don't know. Don't really know what this notebook I carry is all about. It's probably something I'm just missing that's basic from the game. Okay, but anyway, characters. So the Paladin, as I said, Philosopher. I don't need to go through too much of this. I was really just going to show you their ability. So 19 strength. It was obviously one less than all of these were the rolls I accepted. So you can see I got a an 18, uh, what did I get? An 18, 17, yeah, 18, 17, 16, 15, 15. I used and, and took there. So pretty decent there. Highest, com yeah, anyway, you can see if your own eyes don't waffle on that. Uh, so the cleric I've given, you know, pretty decent strength to. The wisdom's obviously high. Constitution text. Everything's good there. Very good. Uh, again, the, the rogue dwarf, as I said, dexterity is 18, but strength is 17. So giving a martial weapons uh, ability there, I thought was was pretty cool. Uh, wizard, I didn't get to 19 there, but I did lose some strength there. You do get the wizard have something alongside it quite often, and you might want to push something away or something like that, you know, if you get that into that situation. So, no need to go through the rest of that. Anyway, I'll, I'll shut up and turn the volume off again and we'll play on 40, 420 crew onwards. Clear skies, my lady. What do you want? Just introducing ourselves. I'm Helia Fairblade, senior deputy of the Legacy Council. Do you need equipment? Master Galar has everything you need. Do you think we came here empty-handed? You probably believe you have everything under control, but how can you be sure that you won't find a rare component or some other unexpected treasure? Well, of course, I can take a look. Anything else? Who's the man you're looking for? His name is Marin Ving. He was presumed to be dead. Recently, Copperan opened a diplomatic channel with Ker Kifling. We heard that Ving was here recently, buying food rations from Master Golden Tongue. Who is he? I'm not at liberty to say more. My apologies. Fine. Anything else? No. We should go.
those orcs almost killed us all. Clear skies, my lord. What is it? Anything you need from the store? I'm not here to shop. Then what are you here for? Looking for this damn Marin Vink. He was here. You may have seen him. We're new, so probably not. Well, he's a ruffian, and he has a debt of honor. Is he wanted by the law? Not by the Principality's law. But in the Duchy of Northern Plains, he certainly is. Well, in that case, our duty is clear. You can count on us, sir. Thank you. Stay in the light, my lord. Ah, you're here. Master Golden Tongue tells me you're good people. As you've heard, my expedition is short-handed. Lost six, we heard. Unfortunate. If you join my search party, I'd pay well. Five gold pieces a day, each. Twenty-five up front. I need Marin Ving found, and we know he was here. It was a while ago, but if we're careful, we can pick up his tracks. Gold is of no use to us here. We need better equipment. I don't have much, but our fallen comrades had some things. We'll take the healing potions. Excellent. I move the barrier. I believe this is a good place to start. See you around. That's a bunch of footprints, more than just one man.
this is all falling apart. Let's take a souvenir. Vivo, Dio. Evo, CEO. Light at last. What's your step? This looks familiar.
Looks mighty canon, but not. Look at this. Someone built a fire here. That someone wanted to rest here, but had to leave in a hurry. Did you hear that? Messiah, Necro, Malmus! Mm. You'll die like the rest! Well, so the 423 did pretty good sorting out their uh, first little mission.
So, what do you have for me? We found an abandoned camp. And this. This belongs to Marin Vin. Excellent work. Rest now. We'll search the area carefully in the morning. We need to know where he went. Team up with my people if you like. We'll keep that in mind. Stay in the light. Clear skies. Hi ah, there. Name's Crim Sunsail. You're working for the merchant. Escort? Yes. The marches are a good place to gain some experience or to get killed. <laughs> well, you're here. Sure. There's money to be made. A debt to collect from this guy, Ving. What if he's dead? We'll see. Well, Galar has some good stuff. Want to check? Sure, why not? Thank you. Yep. Hey, I heard you killed a bear in there. You wouldn't happen to have its pelt with you. Why? I got this crafting project. Boots. I need a brown bear's pelt. How much would you pay for it? The usual, I guess. 20 gold pieces. Or I can show you how to craft something. We'll take the gold. Deal. Okay, so, first level up. <clears throat> Have a look. Strike of Chaos. Can be advantage on attacks, advantage on attack, blah, blah, blah. Added some randomness to that can be disadvantage on attack rolls if you hit. Hmm. Okay, additional damage increase. Okay. Taking guiding bolt instead of inflict wound so I don't have to be touching. Four D six spell threats bomb. Keep the three D ten. Cure wounds lovely, healing root lovely, essentials essentials. Don't enjoy bane, don't really use it. A lot which might give me inflict wounds for when I am standing there. Good to take magics on a ritual. Ritual. Okay. How's our do gooder doing? In case you hadn't noticed, we're like a glowing troop of uh, uh, 
heroes of lawful goodnessnessness. A bit pious as well. Um, I mean, they've got their deities, but basically they're all all students of um, the Rasta religion. Divine Smite. Da -da -da -da. Yep, yep, yep. Blimey style. Yep. Okay. Fighting style for the Paladin. Have to be wielding a shield for this. Coming around to shield is more. I'm a bit of a dual wielder. I like dual wielding. And in Celestra it's quite handy, but you have to manage it in and out because, you know, switching a, a weapon across or a shield across is an action in itself. You can't, unlike Baldur's Gate, where you can sit there and flick things in and out as much as you like, it doesn't quite work that way with this. Think before you move. You have to know in advance. I do like great weapon fighting, but it does restrict you. If I don't know what in this module, what the weapons you find are going to be. I never wield a melee weapon and nothing in the other hand. Actually, no, that's not true. In Celesta, that can come in valuable for spellcasters that need a semantic component. Like I have with the cleric at the moment. That's why I took the shield off him and put it back when he was under threat after an attack because it upped his armor class for that. But uh, it enables him to cast a spell. If I want to have him, like, as I said, you can't switch in and out willy-nilly. So if he, in one switch out, he's been stuck without a shield for that round, well, have dueling, having dueling will be good. Um, there's another feat you can take which will give you, like, a, a armor class bonus if you're, if you're wielding only one weapon in one hand. This is probably all round the safest one to take without knowing what's coming up ahead. But he's only got a seven intelligence, so who really knows what he'd choose? <laughs> uh, no one else is really the just the pure fighter. I was going to go ranger instead of paladin, but see, dueling's better for. He won't have too much of a semantic component to his spell casting when it comes along. I don't think. I'm caught. I'm caught. He'll be the forefront fighter. We'll give him the armor class bonus. Level two rogue. And the dash comes in very handy with him. Now, whiz whiz. What's WizWiz going to do? Specialization. Oh, yeah, Gorilla Glue. Once upon a day, sure, we're going to spend around. But yeah, we know that. New one. This looks good, actually. I like this. Gain proficiency with shields. Gain the protection fighting style, which allows you to use a reaction to impose disadvantage on an attack roll made against an ally next to you. Provided you are wearing a shield. So, when you think about it, just a shield as a mage in hand. Don't need your staff necessarily. You've got your hand free for a semantic component. Anyway, so you can actually powerful shield around yourself and ally you can see with the six cells. This spell shield, both of you, temporary hit points, five times your level up to an hour five times your level Are you kidding me use it twice and then to take a long because you'd be on that all the time five times really surely i'm missing something we're going that path aren't we we are going that path aren't we should teach you a bit about aussie language I'll say something. Hey, mate, how you going? That is, g'day, mate, how are you going? Well, hi, mate, how you going? Hi, mate, how are you going? We, we don't really make it easy for people. Two class spells, what do I want? What do I want here? What would you guys pick? 
What would you tell me in the comments what you'd pick for you two level two spells here? Curious to know. So I've got these on ritual, which is good. If you don't know what ritual is, it means you can cast it anytime you don't have to put it in your spell book. You just have to do it like a 10 minute rest, it'll do in game for you. Charm person's good, they fixed a bug with that. Well, it didn't re roll to test. Uh, expeditious retreat, I never get. False life, I never get. Feather fall, unless it's more of a hmm, more of one for something like Baldur's Gate, which is more level oriented. Identify ritual, good. Okay, so really it, it doesn't leave a lot of choices. Charm person's going in. Grease or fog cloud. Range 24 an hour. Take two, range an hour, one minute. Fog cloud it is. All the NPCs can die. Some of them can join your party for a time, and if you let them die, you can continue playing normally. only hire one member of Helio Verbo's company, even if you have unlocked more. One at a one at a time. Some of them can some of them can join your party front. If you let them die, you can continue playing normally. Does that mean you can go get another one? I'm not sure. So no, it's not understood. But that's okay. Why did it do that then? In the middle of creation. Uh that for change. I don't know. The reason Shocking Grass such a good spell is, is it the same on here, Baldur's Gate? Yeah, they can't use reactions, that's right. So, if the st standing next to you, like the wizard here, in danger, use Shocking Grass, does a little bit of damage, but they, if you then want to run away after a successful hit, they won't hit you. There would be no reaction time hit on you, reaction hit on you. Shield's good for, like, when the arrows are incoming you can cast that as a defense as the arrows incoming the game prompts you you don't have to have it up front he needs a better weapon but that's the best finesse weapon you can have is a rapier i guess yeah he his best combination at the moment is to get two of the best finesse what is it? What's the best finesse weapon? That's a light weapon. Short sword. Two short, two magical short swords of him at the moment. There is a feat I think you can get. Oh, well, is my memory going? It allows you to like, use two rapiers. No, they just it doesn't allow you to use two finesse weapons that aren't. Anyway, I'm bumbling up. I'll get when I get to that. I'll tell you about it. So, what have I got left time wise? I'm not far from having to end this video. I think. And therefore, that might make this a good spot, but let's have a chat over here. If you're after Baron's bitch, I'm with you. Yeah, okay, I just wondered why you had so Oh, okay, it's the guy. Oh, okay, he's now a companion now. Easy as that. I didn't really get much choice in that, did I? Did I want him as a companion? I'm not really sure. Can I get rid of him as a companion if I don't want him? Not really sure, to be honest. He's got no character bar that I can access, so it's like an NPC joining you for a quest in the uh, original version. So he's a uh, cleric or paladin. Tell me anywhere specific. Here we go. No. Should tell you what he is, really, shouldn't it? I mean, paladin or cleric, it's one of the two. But anyway, he's joined me. Let's hope I wanted him to. Kind of weird that they wouldn't tell you a bit more about him. So, oh, who have we got over here? I didn't see. Maybe I'll do that before I end the video. What do we got? 
Don't even try to sell me your stuff. Why not? I know Galar is jacking his prices up because we're on the road. Oh, you're in the business. No, I joined the party hoping to find some historical treasure. Actually, Galar offers a discount for council agents. Lowering the inflated prices to the regular prices? No thanks. No, I'm not Fair a big enough. fan of her. I'm pretty sure if we get, get off the road, we'll find some antiques. Well, if you do, I might be interested in buying. Okay. Well, keep that in mind. A future buyer. Stay in the light. There's another interaction, is it? Looks like you brought me some. Multiple items, actually. They seem connected. Oh, By okay. The God. Did I miss her before I walked out last time? Thanks a lot. This makes my day. Here, take this. I have no use for it. I need some but equipment. Maybe you will. Need some money. Thank you. Stay in the light, friend. What do I just pick up? Twenty-four gold is not going to do me much good. I reckon I've got much to sell there as well. Probably not. Shoot one thing. Um. Okay. I'll have a look at that. Okay, nothing really to sell either. got anything to say to us yet after coming back then? No, just the shop. I haven't had a look at what he's actually got here yet. Might do it this way. Keep in mind if you've got a druid, that it's important that you get a wooden shield because they can't use metal weapon, uh, metal armour. Gonna upgrade a shield or something, I think try and get a, a wooden one as well. Nothing there. Okay, so Gala's not really got a lot to sell these people we're trying to force all this stuff on. So I've got to go back to the grotto, that's right. Exciting stuff. Let's go and do a lap. I might end this one just here because it's kind of the perfect spot to do so. Um, at the moment it works for me. It's an introduction to the game. We've gotten into it. I'm not sure how much. Yeah, I mean, I'll come back and I'll, I'll do these as playthroughs as I am at the moment. In future, it'll probably be the gaps between. I'll do shopping by myself, etc. So, thanks for coming along, guys. Look, I know it's the beginning of a small channel from a small guy. Um, and I am doing it more as a hobby than any monetizing or anything like that, but 
kind of makes it worthwhile if you do get a bit of a comment or you do get a bit of support somewhere or tell me that the content needs to change in some way but uh, I if I get some good responses I'll, I'll, I'll do it for the long haul and I'll improve where needed and um, I think I've got enough information there to help out a lot of people who might be getting into the RPG world certainly and if you're experienced in it and you think you've got some ideas you can tell me then please I'm not Averse to learn, adverse to learning anything ever. Uh, the day I am, then you might as well put something in my head like a bullet. But good dogs, eh? It looks like a good game so far. I'm liking the graphics, what I'm seeing around me. Like the layout. I'm excited to try the dungeon maker too. So we'll call it a day there. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming along for the ride. See you next time.